Hi, this is James Villapeg with TopFatLossTrainer.com. Welcome to today's workout. Today is a cardio-based burst bout. We're going to be featuring five rapid-fire movements, okay, in which we'll be moving at 30 seconds for that one clip. You'll also get a minute rest and recovery, which you'll be doing knee raises and arm rolls. The way this is going to work is we're going to start with knee ups, then we're going to move to the exercise of squat jumps, then we'll move to punches, then we'll move to jump rope, and we'll finish with the most intense burpees. The good thing after that is that you'll have rest. So that's something to look forward to. As far as your intensity or the effort that you're going to put into this, I created at topfatlosstrainer.com top a perceived exertion chart so that you can gauge how much effort you on a personal level should be putting into this. I'm using the Gym Boss Timer to gauge or keep tabs on time for myself. We're going to, again, we're going to be working at 30 seconds of extreme all-out rapid-fire movement and you'll get the one minute of active rest, not full rest, active rest in which we're doing the knee ups and the, the arm rolls. You'll have a two minute warm-up on your own. We're not going to do that right now, we're going to jump right into this with the jog at a perceived exertion level of between five and six. And by reading the chart, you'll get a better understanding of what that's about. So I'm going to jump right into this for a one minute jog. Three, two, one, begin. So, as funny as this looks, this is basically just to prepare your body for what's coming. And the first rapid fire movement is going to be a knee up. At which point you're going to be moving to a perceived exertion of a number 8. That's 1 out of 10. 1 being easy and 10 being tough. I use this for my clients to gauge or to determine how much effort or intensity a particular set of exercise was or will be. Okay, we have 25 seconds left. Just warming up the body, getting the blood flowing, warming the muscles, connective tissue. Very important. 15 seconds left, and then we're going to jump into the first rapid fire movement. Again, it's knee ups. Five seconds left. Here we go. Okay. Rapid fire movement. A number eight on the perceived exertion scale. This lasts for 30 seconds. Active recovery. Those are not easy. Again, if you have knee problems, you can't do those. You'll do speed squats. And that's basically just moving at a quick pace doing squats. Now this act of rest is a little bit less than the last one, about a four to five. So I have to catch my breath. Next rapid fire movement are straight punches. 
can see how this is a cardio based workout. Reverse bound. I look at my clock. The gym boss. 17 seconds left. Just staying active. Again, next is put straight punches. Catching my breath. So I can put my wall into the next rapid fire movement. Okay, here we go. I'm working at a nine now. So my perceived exertion, it's up there. Even faster. Thanks for joining us. James Villapeg, topfatlesstrainer.com. Hit it hard. <laughs> 